Hi everyone, we're back. I uh, just wanted to give kind of a quick uh, sneak peek at um, kind of where I'm going from from the smaller setup. So we've got uh, ZVS circuit, the Mazzilli circuit, and uh, <clears throat> running to the center tapped primary, which is the outer coils here, um, going to the uh, uh, dual wound uh, clockwise and counterclockwise secondary coming out with the one output there and the other two ends are coming together and uh, grounded here so then I've got these six capacitors in series uh, in uh, kind of a parallel resonant uh, configuration uh, it had seven capacitors and it uh, seemed to be a little bit less optimal um, with the six, it seemed to be where the lights were the brightest and the current was the lowest. <clears throat> and uh, so I've got this uh, ferrite rod that uh, can adjust here. And you can see, obviously, it's got a pretty dramatic effect on the tuning. And then here, as an indicator, I've got uh, a little. Um, neon on a kind of a proximity probe so I'll adjust the inductance again too far in too far out just right and then if I was to further add any inductance to the system uh, if it was under um, inductance or over, uh, you would uh, get more of an increase uh, by adding the more inductance to the resonator, but here you see that it uh, dims the output, so we're at the right, uh, at the right um, inductance for going into this uh, resonator here. <coughs> it's uh, two and a half times the diameter, that's what I decided to make the length. Um, so, uh, I'll take the uh, connection that's coming uh, from the load side, on the top of the resonator, and I'm going to skip the resonator and just go straight to uh, the uh, where the power came in, where it should be uh, most uh, most you know more powerful than going through all this uh, resistance uh, loss. So I'll disconnect that hook it up here and we got uh, I think a, a peanut came out or something <laughs> one time a guy said a, a fly landed on his uh, L2 and looked at him <laughs> so anyway uh, yeah, you skip the resonator and uh, you see the uh, output here so now add the resonator and uh, power came back just that uh, inductance again okay so on the output uh, we've got one point three nine six volts so being a 2 volt uh, LED, uh, they're closer to, uh, they're above half, uh, half lit, so um, it's uh, not going to do any calculations yet, uh, just pretty much turn the power onto this thing and saw some good stuff, but uh, it's not, not even close to being done yet. <clears throat> but anyway, the... Uh, uh, we've got a nice function anyway, and it's uh, pretty nice to have that kind of uh, uh, resonant sense sensing device, because just the slightest bit uh, can might look the same with the lights, but the uh, the neon will go out. So anyway. Uh, 
so the uh, system or the power supply says we got about 200 milliamps going in um, and then I've got it going through this uh, filtering network and then in through the system here um, and uh, this meter has been really good in the past and uh, I tend to want to trust these numbers a bit more but uh, Yeah, so it's really important to filter uh, what's going in. A lot of guys have, uh, have noticed that. You get this nasty sine wave on the uh, DC input. Uh, so this should minimize that a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm going to be switching from this circuit <coughs> to an exciter circuit uh, to drive these coils and uh, uh, experiment with different coils and configurations. Uh, with the uh, loop stick for the radio antenna transformers, uh, I'm really not sure actually if it was supposed to be counterclockwise and clockwise to a single output, but with this way it uh, it phases them properly to, to come out of here in the same phase. Uh, rather than being one or the other, it's the same, same, same. Um, so it's pretty interesting uh, being able to uh, remove the resonator and see the lights go out. I wouldn't really have expected that, but um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, yeah, that's a little sneak peek at what I'm, what I'm doing. <coughs> uh, actually, the wife said that the uh, the uh, LEDs went out at uh, at home there, so I'll have to count how many hours that round for on the small Slayer exciter uh, magnifier setup and uh, figure out how many milliamps it was actually using to uh, to light up those three bulbs. But uh, yeah, I want to work at uh, some bigger output here. Um, might still stay with the LEDs, but uh, a lot of guys have, you know, been lighting uh, incandescent bulbs with their with their uh, cachers and uh, and exciters and whatnot. Um, but being a, a semiconducting uh, component that creates light is uh, it's really a nice thing to work with. Um, so uh, based on the uh, the big input number, uh, each bulb is supposedly uh, running off of 4 milliamps. And uh, if you've ever played with the power supplies and LEDs, uh, it would take like yeah, 20 or 30 milliamps to, uh, to make an LED kind of remotely bright. Uh, I guess depending on the LED, but um, <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Anyway, we'll be back. Talk to you later.